Mr. Engelberger, and he is happy to represent you. I've got his name and his phone number written down on this sheet of paper, which I'm going to provide to you, and you can call and speak with him this afternoon. And he is available um, beginning at 8.45 in the morning. So what we'll do is uh, plan to pick up there tomorrow um, with you and with him available for you. All right. So um, we'll see you at uh, 8.45 tomorrow. You need no time to talk with him? Yeah, you can talk with him for the next. Oh, it's not today? Yeah. Oh, so he'll yeah, yeah, he's available today. He'll be waiting for your call. I'm not going to have any problem with him, is it? I mean, I don't know why you should. Okay. All right. You take See care. you in the morning. You be safe. Okay, you too. Hello. Leave me alone. Let me leave. Man, y'all pissing me off. Listen, I don't recall nothing I said to no police. Stop asking me these questions. I have lied. I made things up. And they keep talking about it, thug, 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 thug. So guess what I'm going to tell them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what else you want me to tell them? Yeah, he killed this person. Yeah, he did that. That's what, I, that's what I'm going to do. And that's right now. If you tell, if I walk out of this thing and, and they say, the police stop me now. Hey, man, give me something about the Shit, I'm about to make something up about him again. But never, I knew he didn't do it. And they, I, in my mind, I knew that the police would never go mess with him. Y'all trying to put this on my conscience. Y'all trying to put people's life in my hands. I don't lie on people. I don't want to be here. Y'all have pressured me. I'm tired of y'all. Because y'all know y'all are wrong. And y'all black people doing this to us. When we have the jury back on Monday and you're still under subpoena, so you're still obligated to come. And I, I'm asking you now, when they're like, all right, we're calling Kenneth Copeland. Are you going to say, okay, ask me what you want to ask me. I'll tell you whatever I'm going to tell you. Or are you going to say, nope. I don't care if you throw me in jail. I'm not saying a word. I am not getting on the stand. It depends on how I wake up. Okay. All right. Well, then we will just revisit it on Monday morning. So plan to be here at 845 on Monday morning. You're free to go for now. So it may seem like I'm trying to help Doug out. I'm not trying to help him out. I don't care nothing about him. What he got going on, nothing. I care about the truth. The truth was, I was going through a phrase in my life and I have put all the blame on him. I don't know what he did. I don't know what he got going on. But y'all got me on the stand and I'm telling the God and his truth. Leave me out of this. I made all these stories up, put the blame on him to get myself out of the situation because the police told me they want a big fish and I'm a little fish. They ain't who I want. <laughs> so when they told me that, my only motive was to convince them that I'm telling the truth about this guy right here and I'm lying. I don't think Gunner's a snitch. No, no, because nothing he say is going to be used in a trial. Taking a plea deal, everybody done took a plea deal. Everybody done took a plea deal. They done been going to jail. Every street person I already know, Gunner ain't did nothing wrong. He ain't got to get on the stand and testify. You can call me a snitch all day. I mean, it is what it is. It don't bother me. Um, feel how you feel. Just don't, don't, don't get out of pocket. Hit the like button right now. I dare you. Hit the subscribe button right now, I dare you. Hit the share button right now, I dare you. I am the artist TV. I am the artist and you can be the artist too. Join my channel. Hit that subscribe button. And we gonna take the world by storm together and we gonna figure this shit out. All right, good morning, Mr. Copeland. I'm Judge Whitaker. I think you've been before me before in unrelated matters. Huh? 
I'm, I'm the judge taking over this case now. So go ahead and have a seat. Um, what I want to ask you right now, I know that you um, have been given um, immunity with regard to your testimony. Um, and there had been at some point you didn't want to testify. At some point you did want to testify. The first question I have for you. I know one to testify. Okay. The, the first. Well, right. Want to is maybe the wrong term but my question for you right now is do you have an attorney at all i don't know you don't know whether you have an attorney i would think that would be a no then if you don't know whether no, you're i was talking to melanie but melnick yes okay um didn't you didn't he ask to be relieved as your attorney but one day i woke up they were beating down the front door FBI, Secret Service, Homeland Security, Gang Unit, ATL. Man, I'm like, man, I know y'all lying to me. They just, they, they booked me. Um, I had a warrant, though. They did me dirty again. They shot my dog. And they said I got an Instagram and threatened the police. So they put a one out on me. They, they didn't charge me with threatening the officer, but they tried to. But all I said was, well, he gonna get what was coming for him. But um, I was mad that he shot my dog. Uh, Hell yeah. They killed him? Nah, he lived. I mean, uh, he shot him in the shoulder and it came, it went through and came out on his side. Mm.